What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. It's Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to learn five C2 idioms. I really like making videos on idioms, and it's going to be my first lesson on idioms this academic course. It's high time. I made a new one. So grab your vocabulary notebook, open your section for idioms, and let's get started. So let's begin. Today we're going to learn five advanced C2 idioms. Their level is determined by the Cambridge Dictionary. The first idiom on my list today is a means to an end. It means that you do something in order to achieve or obtain something else. Usually it's something not enjoyable. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you three sample sentences. The first one, he doesn't really like his job, it's just a means to an end. The second example is about me. I don't like paperwork, which I have to do every three months. It's only a means to an end. And one more example here, she wants to be a singer. Modeling is simply a means to an end. And now let's move on to the second idiom, down the drain. It means that something goes to waste, something is lost, such as money, time or effort. Sometimes I record a video and when I check it, I find out there is a sound problem. All the work went down the drain and I have to do it over again. I hope it won't happen today. Fingers crossed. The other day we went to a restaurant and sadly the food was horrible. 20 euros down the drain. And one more example here, when you're going through a breakup, you tend to think that all the time spent with your ex-partner went down the drain. The third idiom to be left to your own devices. If you watched my previous long video on the song Antihero, by Taylor Swift, you must know what it means. So this idiom means that you have freedom to do what you want and you can make your own decisions, which is very nice and cool. The first example, I love freedom and being left to my own devices. I like my job, I have a flex schedule and I'm left to my own devices. And one more example here, stop smothering your children they are old enough to be left to their own devices. And guys, before we continue, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying today's video, please don't forget to like it. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Tomorrow to go, our idiom number four, to make waves. It means to draw attention to yourself, to do something that is noticed, it could have a positive connotation, but it's usually used negatively. So it depends on the context. And now let's look at three examples. It's your first week in your new job. You'd better not make waves. It means that if you want to suggest something or change things, you can create problems. And especially when you're just starting in your workplace. The second example, no doubt Shakira made waves with her latest songs. And one more example here, Chat GPT is making waves. And last but not least, our idiom number five, to pay the price. It means to experience the bad results of something you've done. If I go to bed late and don't sleep eight hours, I pay the price next day. Number two, I've been eating too much chocolate lately. Now I'm paying the price. I've got lots of pimples on my face. And the last example for today, you should take care of your body and mind when you're young. Otherwise, you pay the price when you're over the hill. The idiom to be over the hill is a humorous way to say that someone is old. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned a few new idioms. If you did, 
please don't forget to like this video and remember that you can catch me on Instagram. Thank you for watching today's video, for your time and support. Have a lovely day and see you very soon. Ciao for now!